Hey guys, so it's me Kiani. Today's video is going to show you how I created this look. It was actually requested by two of my subscribers. One that asked for something a little less holiday glam, a little bit more rocker. The other request was to include more greens in the tutorial. So hopefully this look will fit the bill. I'm hoping you like it. Um, I did use my BH Hollywood palette to create the eye as well as the highlight and the cheek. I'm absolutely in love with the BH palettes. Um, I've actually purchased several of them. So um, if you've been watching my videos for holiday, you'll see that I have been highlighting a lot of them. I'm sorry if I sound nasal. I've actually been really, really sick with a upper respiratory infection. and um, But I still want to get out some more holiday tutorials for you guys. So hopefully you guys will like this tutorial. And if this is a look you're interested in, stay tuned and I'll show you how I First created it. First I'm going to begin it. by grabbing my Ulta color coat in topaz or shimmering topaz and I'm going to grab my large fluffy brush my E50 Sigma brush and just really really massage that in and I want it to go all over my eyelid next I'm going to grab a black cold pencil and start to create the shape start at the edge of the eye And then pull inward. Next, I'm going to grab my short shader brush, my E20 by Sigma. And I am going to be using my BH Hollywood palette this time. And I'm going to use this black, the blackest black that's in this palette. And I'm just going to gradually erase the skip of my cut crease with that same brush I have dampened it with a little bit of my fix black fix plus spray and I'm going to go right into this charcoal just to start to pack on the color repeat this step as many times as necessary It's really good to have a towel nearby. I usually record with the towel. That way if I'm using the same brush I have a chance just to kind of clean it off. And next I'm going to go into this Caribbean green shade right here. The more powdery one and I'm just going to pack that on. Layer it just on the exterior part of that charcoal. Flip your brush over. Continue to pack. Next I'm going to move into this icier green and just lay that right on top just to allow that pigment to really really shine through. The same brush I'm going to move right into this powdery yellow shade right here and pop that yellow right on the inner and then I'm going to go right into this gold and allow it to accentuate the yellow. Now comes the fun part. Go right back into that black with your tapered blending brush. This is an E45 by Sigma and I'm really really going to concentrate on smoking out this cut crease. I'm going to use my short shader brush, pack more color, and pull. You're blending and packing, blending and packing. Next, I'm going to grab this color right here using that same tapered blending brush, the E45. Just massage that around in there and set it right on top of that black to create a nice transition and blend it in. Now what I normally do at this point is I go back in with my cold pencil and I want to reformulate my shape because as I gradually build the color then I can really really create the shape. And I want this to be pretty severe. I am actually going to for the sake of grab something with a sharp edge just to really really make to be able to trace this shape here there we go and pull that up next I'm going to grab my same small tapered blending brush I'm going to go into this icier blue right here 
because I want it to kind of soften this black some. Next, I want to go back into my peachy shade right here and buff the blue down. This time, I'm going to make I'm going to keep buffing until that peachy shade is the most dominant. Come back in with my cold pencil. I'm just going to reinforce that shape one more time. And start to fill that in. Now I'm really, really going to buff all this in, okay? I'm going to grab my blending brush. This is my E25. I'm going right back into this Tokyo shade. And I'm going to really concentrate on blending this down. Next, I'm going to move right into this icier white shade here. And just really set that on top. back into my peach. Don't forget just to continue to blend. After you're done blending, make sure you go back in with your cold pencil and just really, really reinforce that exterior V. And you really have to do this with your eye open so you can tell how that pencil is going to settle. And one more dusting over just to set it. Now, I have all this fallout. I'm going to clean all that up. But first, I want to tighten my line. Grab a little bit of my concealer. Pull up. Next, I'm going to grab that cold pencil and create this a tiny, tiny, the tiniest of tiniest lines just along my lash line. And just underneath my lashes here. I'm going to grab a liquid liner. This one is made by Jordana. And I'm just going to reinforce that line. the trace up and actually right on top of that coal. This part I'm not blending. I just want it to sit. Next, I'm actually going to create my highlight with my NC30 um, Studio Sculpt Concealer. And I'm using a little bit of a dampened beauty um, blender. And I'm just going to create this kind of a dewy under eye glow. I'm going to try not to powder this too much because I just really want this to be a kind of a soft radiant. I mean, that the eyeliner, of course, is going to be rocket shape but I'm just gonna really really try to keep this nice and, and sealed and I'm using just a little bit of this um, medium it's a cream compact by MAC and I'm just doing a little bit of a tester just to kind of give a little bit more of a radiance to this concealer I don't want it to be so thick looking so I'm just gonna layer that right on top just to kind of create a little bit more of a, a glow to my skin
Now I'm going to grab that slanted eyeshadow brush and go just a little bit into this dark, dark black in the palette and just dab a little bit along this eyeliner. For this look, I've actually decided to go with some of my um, Ardell Wispy Lashes. So I'll put a little bit of glue. I'm going to apply my lashes and I'll be right back. And while the glue is drying, I'm going to go in with my Voluminous False Fiber Lash Mascara and really, really work on these bottom lashes. Now what I'm doing on the bottom, just to kind of make it look like I put on false lashes, is I'm going to grab this tip and just tap it right into that line that I've already created with my eyeliner. What that does is kind of makes the lashes look a little bit thicker. As long as it's applied, applied properly, it doesn't look like you made a mistake. It actually just makes the lashes look thicker. So that's why I applied the line first and then went in with the mascara. And then I'm going to kind of work this mascara right onto my lashes as well. Pulling it all the way up. And I did cut these lashes in half um, because I really wanted the outside to be the dominant shape. See how it creates more of a, a wing effect. And just apply as much mascara as you like. Now, the very, very last step you can skip. See this little bit of shimmer right here? That is my lit glitter. So I'm going to apply just a little drop. But for some of you, what we've already done might just be enough. So if that's the case, stop here. But I'm just going to grab a little bit of this crystal right here on this little brush that goes with it. And create a little bit of sparkle. Just on the inner tear duct. Now I can actually use <laughs> the blushes as they were intended. I'm going to grab a little bit of the blush on my powder um, blush brush by Sigma and just pop it right here on my cheek. And then I'm going to go right into this highlight and just kind of highlight it a little bit. Yeah, just to kind of make it a little festive. repeat this step as many times if as you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips I am using my color tattoo in gold brush I applied just a little bit of this as much as I needed to to create the gold hue and I just applied a little bit of my Moda's kiss me gloss look at that more shimmer oh love it it actually stays on really really well but I think it really really completes the look and yeah, we're ready to go to our house party. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Follow me, love underscore Kiani on Instagram. You'll see where I am actually wearing all these amazing looks. Any of your upcoming requests, I'll be glad to get back in contact with you and hopefully follow up with a new tutorial. That's all I have for now. I'm going to give you a quick, quick close up. Until next time, thanks for watching.